नमस्कार हेलो एंड वेलकम टू एन लाइव फोन इन इंटरैक्टिव प्रोग्राम माय नेम इज सनवी खुराना इन दिस मैथ्स क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक लाइंस एंड एंगल्स एंड दिस इज द फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ द सेम टॉपिक इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन द फर्स्ट थ्री पार्ट्स आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज वॉच दैम ऑन आर यूट्यूब चैनल एन ऑफिशियल वेर यू कैन वॉच दीज थ्री पार्ट बिकॉज दिस फोर्थ पार्ट इज ऑल्सो इन कंटिन्यूएशन टू ऑल दोज थ्री पार्ट्स and uh, we have an expert with us she'll be telling us about lines and angles for sure and she'll be solving a few examples as well and she is mrs beena prakash welcome ma'am hello. hello good afternoon everyone good afternoon to you too ma'am ma'am is a senior pgt uh, in mathematics from campion school bhopal madhya pradesh and uh, all the ninth class students you're watching us on pme vidya channel number 9 if you have any queries any questions regarding lines and angles please give us a call on our number 8800440559 which is uh, sh- being shown on your screens at the moment and if you want to email us the email id would be dth.class at the rate ciet.nic.in so we'll be expecting your questions queries and uh, let's begin this discussion and before beginning the fourth part of this topic lines and angles i would request ma'am to uh, give us a preview of what we've learned uh, till now in the same topic ma'am sure sure so till now actually the word says lines and angles the chapter name is lines and angles so we discuss certain things about lines and then we define angles and we discuss different types of angles so that was that what we had in the previous classes and along with that i discussed the questions based on these angles from exercise 6.1 of the textbook now before going ahead we need to know more terms so that's what we'll be discussing now the more more terms in angles where we have different lines the angles are formed from the lines two lines mm-hmm. when two lines intersect we get angles mm-hmm. and that was a definition we had so is in that case we'll be getting with more than two lines one intersecting line these are two lines l and m and there's a line p which is intersecting both these lines so we find set of angles here these are all different angles angle 1 angle 2 these are all different different angles that is formed in this situation mm-hmm. so we need to know what are the terms that is to be used for these angles mm-hmm. so the first term that we have is corresponding angle now how do we define corresponding angles what are corresponding angles see these are two lines and on it there is another line which is intersecting both the lines so which line is intersecting both the lines p p line intersects the line l and m mm. and thus we find that on l as well as on m we have different set of angles with the and uh, line p line p makes an ang- makes different angles with line l as well as with line m so we get these angles so they have different terms in it the first term is corresponding angles so how do we define corresponding angles so if there are two lines and there is a transversal there are two lines and there is a transversal it's not necessary as is i'm showing it it is two lines there is one intersecting line this is a line which is intersecting these two lines then in that case the angle that is formed in respective lines this particular angle see the pattern that we get a sort of v shaped v shaped it's this angle v shaped continue with this arm and you get another angle with the second line angle such so formed this particular angle just see the pattern we have this is the one which, which is intersecting so this arm is extended so that's the arm that we'll have to take and the two other lines that we have that forms an angle so these angles are known as corresponding angles so this is one pair of corresponding angles i'll repeat once again it is formed by it is formed by see a intersecting line intersects two lines l and m is intersected by the line p so let me name this as p this is line l and this is m so the corresponding angle is formed by 
having this P as common arm. This P will be a common arm. And then the sides that is on one side, that is this angle. See, P line extended makes another angle with M. So they form a pair of corresponding angles. Getting it? It is from upside I am showing it. This is from P with respect to L. That is angle C. P extended. The same side, same side. On the same side we have this angle C. Okay. So which pair is that we have? That is these two form a pair of corresponding angles. Hmm. Before I discussed about the set of angles. This is an intersecting line which intersects two other sides. So the angle formed, this is one angle formed which is named as one in this position. Just translate this position. This line is extended and then a V is formed here. This V in the same pattern that we have. This is the same pattern. Like the pattern remains the same. That is this way. This pattern, angle so formed in this pattern, they are known as corresponding angles. Getting it? Yes, ma'am. Now, if on the other side, if I take it with respect to, that is from the other end. Mm -hmm. If I take it, I can read it from this end also. It's not necessary that you always move from the upside. We can always move from downside also. So see, this is the intersecting line which intersects with first line. So the angle that we have, this is the angle that I'm talking about, which happens to be number eight. Number eight related, see, this is number eight. So extend this and turn to the direction in which you turned first. Turn to the direction in which you turned first. So this is the direction in which you turn. From here you move, move make, turn this to the left side to get this angle 8. See, to get angle 8 what we have to do is move from P towards this point. Let me name it as A. And then you need to move towards B to get this angle 8. Same movement is to be taken up with the another line. So P is moving from A, it suppose meets at this point Q on that line L. It has to move the same way at it move, as it moved from A. So it has to move towards, let me take this as point C, C. So what angle will be formed? That is going to be the corresponding angle. So 8 and 3, they make a pair of corresponding angle. 3 and 8. They make a correspond set of corresponding angles. So that is how we need to identify the set of corresponding angles. So what are the set of corresponding angles that we find in this figure? The set of corresponding angles that we find are 1, 1, see from P you move towards this point of intersection and then you move up. The direction in which you are moving in that same direction. Let me name this as L and this as M, this as N and this as O to explain it little clearly. So this is point P and I have marked this at P. Okay, let me name this. So from P you are moving towards A and to get the angle 1 we need to move towards M. So that makes an angle 1. The same way extended to line M as you move towards M. The way this arm has been taken, the same type of arm is to be taken here, that is B to O. B to O. So we move towards, so which angle is formed? From P, B, O. Which angle is that? So this is 1 and 6. Can you explain or can you tell me what will the angle which will be corresponding to angle 2? Angle 2. Angle 2, yes, angle 2, how is angle 2 formed? Just identify, how is angle 2 formed? Like from B, you are moving towards A. That is a line which is intersecting M and N loop. So from B, we are moving towards A and then we move across M. So that is how this arms of the angle is considered. Exactly same pattern you see. From here, you are moving towards B and then to 
O. So which angle is that? What is the name of that angle? It is 7. So 2 and 7 happens to be another pair of corresponding angles. So we have set up angles with a pair of angles. Okay. Similarly, angle 3. The angle 3 is from here you move towards A. Then come down or you take it with reference to this intersecting line. So from down you are moving towards A to the left that is L. Likewise from here you will move towards B. It has to be moved to the left. So the, which is the pair that we have? 3 and 8. So have you, is this part clear? This is a very important thing that you need to identify the set of corresponding angles. So, will 4 be corresponding to 5? Yes. So, we, what we find here, we have 4 pairs, 4 pairs of corresponding angles. So, I suppose this part is clear? Yes, ma'am. Now, we move further. This is, the next term that we have is alternate angles. Now, what is this alternate angle? Again, see, it is Related to the same situation that is L and M are two lines and P is one intersecting line. So when do we get interior angle? This is one is interior and the other one is exterior. When do we get an interior angle? When, see, in the, look at the moment of this. So from here you are moving towards this point and turning down, turning down makes this interior angle B. That is from A to B and then to C point the side marked it as W. So let it continue. Sorry, this is the angle that I have. Okay. That is W. That's the angle that I have specified. This is W. This is point B. So this is point B. You will move towards this point. Extend this line. So this point, let me mark that point as C. So the angle that is formed, B is formed with this arms. A to B, B to C. Now, after coming to C, turn towards D. Turn towards D. Getting it? So, this makes on the same side. Whereas, you take a Z pattern. Take a Z pattern. See, this is a Z pattern. Isn't it similar to the letter Z of English alphabet? Yes, it is. If this Z pattern is taken up, then they represent alternate interior angles because it's an interior. These are interior angles. Hmm. So this Z pattern, this is the E. From A to B, B to C, then C to E. This Z pattern may gives us two angles. So which set of angles are they? That is angle B and angle D. That's one interior angle. Can we identify another set of angles? Is it always that this will be, the, we can have a reflection of this, see, this way also, mm. it's a reflection, from here it moves to B, then to C and then to D. So they again form a pair of alternate angles, which is interior, they are interior pairs. So this is one pair, the other pair is between A and C, that's another set of alternate interior angles. Now the next is alternate angles but exterior. Exterior means it's opposite. So let's just do one thing. Take the vertical angle of C. Vertically opposite angle of C. It's going to be outside. This was towards the angle. It is interior angle. These A, B, C, B are interior angles. But U, V, W, X are exterior angles. So the C and W, they are exterior to each other. A and W, U. They are vertically opposite angles, so they are exterior to each other. So which pairs of angles are they? It is angle W and angle U. Likewise, angle X and angle V. They are set of exterior angles, alternate angles. So this is one thing. Then we go ahead. We go ahead with the interior co-interior angles. Co-interior angles means on the same side, interior angles on the same side. So this pattern is something somewhat based on the late English letter U. Isn't it somewhere similar to the letter U? 
So 2 and 3, 1 and 4, they make interior angles. Interior, co-interior, adjacent to. Okay. So these are the terms that will be required to take up further questions. Okay. okay. Now before we go for further, we have an axiom. Axiom, remember children, what is axiom? It's something which we have already, that is we don't require to prove, we have already proved, state, this is a statement which is to be accepted. What is it? If a transversal intersects two parallel lines, then the pair of corresponding angles are equal. Now do you remember a postulate regarding parallel line? We had the last chapter. Mein kiya tha. The transversal intersects two parallel lines. These are two parallel lines. The line L and M are two parallel lines. L is parallel to M. So, this is a postulate. Tha, yaad karke dekho beta. Yaha pe, the two lines, the two lines L and M, L and M, if it is intersected by a third line, if it is intersected by a third line, then the co-interior angle sum, the co-interior angle sum, if I take this as 1 and 2, sum of co-interior angles, if it is 180 degree, this implies the two lines will be perpendicular. So that is to be used here. So what information do we have? The lines L and M are parallel. So if the lines are parallel, then the sum of the co-interior angles will definitely be Supplementary, that's 180 degree. Yes, these terms we used in the previous classes. Supplementary, I'm just revising once again. Supplementary means the two angles, if they add up to 180 degree, then it is known as supplementary angle. And if the interior, co interior, we have a definition of co-interior angles. If the sum of co-interior angles 180 hai, then these two lines they will be parallel. So this is the information that we have. So we will have to take up that information to prove this. So how do we prove it? L parallel to M. What information do we have? Angle 1, angle 1 and 2, angle 1 and 2, it adds up to 180 degree. Okay? This is the co-interior pair gives us 180 degree. The corresponding angles are equal. That means Kiske corresponding angles? We will have to look for the corresponding angles. 2 ke corresponding konsa angle ho sakta hai. Which angle corresponds to 2? What is the corresponding angle to 2? So look at the frame that we have. See, it is from this. How was it formed? It is from this side, the moment of the pencil. Can you see the moment? It is from here to this point and it's moving out. The same way, from here it moves up. So which pattern, which um, this is the angle that you have? So these two forms a corresponding angle. So what is that you have to prove? That these two angles will be same. Now how do we bring in three, angle three in this question? We get one more information. Look at this information. What is that? Isn't this a line? P? Ek line hota hai. Therefore this line is divided this by this particular line M at this point in two angles 1 and 3 so they form adjacent angles it's a revision for me I'm trying to revisit whatever we discussed in the previous class 1 and 3 they form an adjacent angle because they have a common arm or ye dono arm is ke opposite side se. so they 1 and 3 they form a adjacent angles and the angles 1 and 3 is the part of this line ye line ka part hai. it has been divided into two angles Hence, hence, this sum, 1 and 3 ka sum mila ke 180 hoga. What is the reason? What is the reason? Because this, I will take this as Q point, Q, P, R. Q, P, R is a straight line. It happens to be a straight line. Agar ek straight line hai, tum dono ka adjacent angle ka sum will always be 180 degree. Now compare these two statements, compare these two statements, connect it, how do we connect it? We can connect it by relating the two, Deekho, 1 and 2 ka sum, 1 and 2 ka sum jo hai, sum of 1 and 2 is equal to sum of 1 and 3. 
बिकॉज बोथ मेशर सेम वही आ गया इक्वल एक्सियम इज स्टेटेड एवरीवेयर सम टू थिंग्स आर इक्वल टू वन दे आर सेम टू ईच अदर सो वॉट कंक्लूजन टू वी गेट फ्रॉम यूर वी गेट दैट द मेजर ऑफ एंगल टू एंड एंगल थ्री विल बी इक्वल सो दैट से दैट वेन एवर यू कम अक्रॉस टू पैरल लाइन्स इट्स करिस्पॉन्ड ऑल पेयर्स एनी पेयर यू टेक अप विथ एनी पेयर्स इट विल ऑलवेज बी इक्वल What are the other pairs that you find here? What are the other pairs of alternate ang uh, corresponding angles? Four and eight. They will also be equal. Another pair. Another pair. Two and six. Here it is two and six. I'm sorry. I took this example and explained it here. I'm sorry. I took a different numbering here. Okay. I'm sorry. I think is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Should I go back to this? It's clear, yes. no? It is clear. They are extended these two angles, but actually, actually in this case, in this case, I'll write that here. Okay. In this case, what we find is, in this two corresponds to six. So the measure of angle two and measure of angle six will be equal. Likewise, four corresponds to eight. So four and eight will also be equal. Okay. Yes. This is for. This is all for this diagram. As per this diagram, okay. Now next is angle five and angle one will also be equal. Likewise, all the pairs, if any pair of corresponding angles will be equal, and converse also will have. That is, if two corresponding angles are equal, the lines are also the lines will be parallel. The next one is also an important thing. We have two transversal lines intersected by another. The corresponding angles are equal, then the lines are parallel. That is, now we make use of the two lines. Two angles are equal. Okay. Angle one and angle two, it's given equal. Okay, we, equal. Uh, we have got last three minutes left for the session. Oh, that's a sorry. Yeah. Uh, one and two, they are equal. What we need to prove that their lines are parallel. So when do we get the lines parallel? When we have the co-interior angle sum. That is, this is proved if. Angle two and three gives us 180 degree. Okay. Now again, get back to one three. How do we get three from this? How do we introduce three? We have angle one and angle three making a linear pair. It's a pair, linear pair, supplementary, adjacent angles. They form supplementary from the straight line, so they form a linear pair. So their sum will always be 180 degree. So is the one is replaced by two? Replace one by two. What we get is angle two plus angle three is 180 degree. So if angle two plus angle two three is 180 degree, what does that imply? The lines are parallel. So that's how we proved. So next is again. So what we have is the results of all this. That is, if corresponding angles are equal, then the lines are parallel. Or if the lines are parallel, the corresponding angles will also be. Likewise, alternate interior angles are equal. The lines will be parallel. Lines are parallel. Alternate interior angles are parallel. So we have to use these results to take up questions that we have from the exercise. Now, before we move on to the next, the last theorem that we have is the lines which are parallel to same are parallel to each other. Like you have line which is parallel. That is L and M are parallel. It's mentioned that L and M are parallel, and M and M and N are parallel. M and N are also parallel. So what we have to prove? What we have to prove is L is parallel to N. So we can move, make use of any of the three results and then prove it. What does it say? I can. I'll make use of the corresponding angles. See, they are the set of corresponding angles. L parallel to M. L parallel to M. What do we get from here? L parallel to M. What do we have? The angle one and angle two should be equal. They form a pair of corresponding angles. They should be equal. M parallel to N. What do we get from here? Two and three are equal. So when you compare this, what information do we get from here? Don't we have one and three equal? Say so one and three are equal. Just forget about this line M. Forget about this line N. We have the pair one and three. They form a corresponding angle because P is an transversal. L and N are two lines, so they form a pair of corresponding angles. So, what conclusion do we have from here? If angle one is equal to angle three, then the line L will be parallel to N. 
So that's what we had to prove. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, we have no more time left. I wanted to take a few examples. Uh, let's just continue in the next session and we can take it uh, in the fifth part of Lines and Angles. Sure. Okay then. All right. Thank you so much. But till now, the concept is clear. So I think uh, the students will be ready next time and they'll ready with the pen and paper and solve the questions along so with you. Yes. So I you. expect that students will be ready with the pen and paper because I'll be asking them to work out these questions to give me the answers. If you get any response, please do let me know. Absolutely. Okay? And, and they'll be responding well. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for being with us. Thank you for all the students to be with us. Uh, I'm sure you enjoyed this session. And uh, don't miss our another session, which is the last day of our online training going on on social media for education. And uh, the topic we'll be discussing would be cyber safety, connect with care in our special program of webinar with uh, on ICT tools. So stay with us, don't go anywhere and keep on watching us on our YouTube channel, which is NCRT official. Thank you once again. Namaskar.